is beautiful. 19th of February 2023. Check out for my hotel. I managed to get extra one hour for the checkout time. So instead of 10.30, I could leave 11.30. But actually, I went 10 minutes before and now I'm going to get some breakfast. I think it might be Weatherspoons. I thought I'm not going there, but I realized I actually have time. I want to visit two of the parks today. There's already this meadow here in Luton, England. It's pretty good. So, good afternoon, guys. So I made it to the Wetherspoons now. Just about 15 minutes before I got my traditional breakfast, which is £4.95. You can get a big ones also here. It's like six something. So menu is pretty good here. I like it. And the hotel where I'm staying is it should be across the road so that is very nice I'm gonna ask if I can drop my bag off because it's only about nearly 12 and the check-in is 3 o'clock so I can walk without my bag that was a nice breakfast very good so the weather spoons here and the hotel should be right about somewhere there I'm gonna have a look too lazy to look on my phone so it's a very very centrally located as library here oh, nice Sunday I can see it it's up there written there's a sign here nearly there off Kilford Street take the ramp at the mall level yeah so I have to go to the mall that's very interesting all right it's just behind the corner I have found it so that's the weather spoon over there and that one is just here All right that was 42 pounds an eye I think no that was 40 no 41 so that is about 46 7 euros very nice location and the bus to the airport should be even even 3 a.m. so I'm pretty good mall enters just there that's wonderful let's go in oh it worked the luggage is off my back so now it's about 12 15 check-in is from 3 so that's very nice because I have some further locations I want to uh, check out now so I don't want to carry my back too much so it to get a bit heavy Oh, wind. It's about 15 minute walk from the main heart of the city. This is actually the meadow. The other green area I was before is People's Park in Luton. And on the other side will be Wardone Park, where I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Should be nice. Not too nice, maybe, perhaps? but just about the British countryside and these kind of parks they're my favorites I love them basically been all over the country in the years I lived here so well, but I haven't been heart of Luton must be a reason I haven't been there <laughs> yeah I guess too many other nice towns villages whatever it's simple, but it's beautiful. The weather's very nice. Birds are singing. Ah, oh, feels good. Three toilets right over there in Wardone Park. It's very autumny feeling, like a British winter is. It's on one long autumn. There you have some geese. Seagulls. It's all right. Well, there are some flowers out. This is very nice. 
Who's this flower over here? You're a flower. It's like a big dog. Kids over here. Small kids. Kids smaller than a duck. There's one upside down over there. What are you doing there? Don't drown yourself. There are better ways. So this is how it looked in the 20s, same location. And that one is over here. Oh, a lot of bread. Oh my God. Welcome to Wardon Park, the best park in the world. Boat house in 30s, that's the same house which is here. So they even swam here. Oh, these are the Victorian people here. Rowing on a lake. Very good. Jesus Christ. Alright, I need to find a very British looking building. Something like a very good one. Hopefully there, there is a some sort of country house or to see the proper British architecture. Oh, there's a lot of signs here. There's an old man there opening the bridge. Good for you. Spenzen Bridge. Uh, I'm gonna fall asleep if I if I read that one. I think. Oh yeah, this is the one. This is what I'm talking about. The proper British architecture. Oh, that big tree there is massive. Very nice. That is still in the water. War down park area. Oh, that's good. The British Royal Mail, the best service in the world. Yesterday I wanted to. What's a horse? Oh, this is a royal one. Ah, oh, that cup of tea over there. Why not? Yeah, yesterday I wanted to send something to America. And it said you have to do something at home before you uh, can send it in America. I mean, come on, what the hell is this? <laughs> Going to the post office. And they tell me, I don't know, I, I didn't even then go deeper there. So I'm going to send it from other country. At least I know now. It was never a problem before in the past years. But obviously now it is. This is the courtyard. Oh. This is good, this is good, I like that. Very nice. A beautiful building. So this one is Wardon House Museum and Gallery. 11 to 5 o'clock. So maybe we could go inside and have a look. Oh, I love this building. Or two copper pictures. Oh yeah. Going into the building. It's some Victorian clothes. Seem to be a very nice one. Oh, that's good. I have a drink of tea here. Dried cat. Very good. Oh, the fish, the roach. Wow. 
has free entrance here. That is beautiful. Nice one. Well, you do discover things to do in Luton. By the way, this is my second day in Luton. If you haven't watched my yesterday's video. Ah, oh, love it. Instruments over here. Harry saves the ocean. Come on, Harry, we believe in you. Oh, there's Harry. Very good. Ay, 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 ay. There's Harry again. Seagulls with Harry. And Harry with a whale. Very good. It's a cracking number. Alright, here I was already. Man, look at this beautiful cafe. Stamps here. Some guns over here. The altar. Interesting. Now I'm outside the British garden, the nature. Right there, the right side is a coffee place with a beautiful. The most beautiful room. Looks like a spring is coming. It's very interesting. Today is 19th of February, so but we're 19th of March. I'll be back in England, so I'm very pleased about this one. Maybe even on 18th, because I'll be a few, at least three days in Nottingham, and then I will see. I have a couple of uh, concerts there lined up. So I might, I might extend my day and uh, going to see some places I haven't seen before. But I don't know. We'll see about this. I don't even have the flight flight books yet now. So, so yeah, next week I'm gonna book these flights because I wasn't sure from which country I'm gonna fly to England. We'll see. Oh, you gotta love the British sausage. Very good. <laughs> Now there might be a Polish one from Krakow. Probably is. Back at some mall now. Luckily, I just remembered that McDonald's has a good coffee here. So hopefully in England also. So I'm gonna find a McDonald's in a shopping center here. I'm very busy again. And I found out that all night from the city center there are buses to the airport, which is only about four or five kilometers away. So that is very good. I like that. Shit, kids everywhere. Ah, McDonald's is right over there. That's very nice. 
So yeah, I have to. I have an early flight about 6 a.m., 6:25. So I have to leave already 3 a.m. And it's good to know that there are buses. 250 seats. My ass. Here it is. Eating all the vegan stuff. How much of the burgers anyway? Max spicy for 69 double for 69. Big Mac is 379 pounds. Filled the fish. Oh, that's rather expensive. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna only have coffee here. Only coffee. So black coffee is only 99p. Wow. In the weather spoons, you can have coffee for 145 pounds, and you can refill unlimited time. So that's pretty good. Same with cappuccinos. All right, black coffee is. Regular large is 130. I think the small one won't do now. Or uh, okay, small one. This coffee is very good. 99p. You have to be crazy to go to Starbucks. Oh my god, it's very nice and it's a big. If I had a large one, I think it's half a liter. I mean, come, it's crazy. Well done, McDonald's. Now I'm walking to the other park. For the first park, it's about 50 minute walk, but I stepped halfway in Harper Town, heart of a town. So from the heart of a town, it's about 20 minute, 25, 30 minute walk. But with weather like this, why the hell not? Well, I forgot about one thing. The petrol prices here in Luton service station is 152 pounds for a normal one and 175 for a unleaded petrol. That's nearly two euros. Fuck you know, mate. Yeah, it looks like diesel is cheaper. I think it is. Quite expensive. Nice, I love these houses. Oh, this architecture is great. Away from the city center now. Only about less than 10 minutes walk, I think, to the park. And this one is a Stockwood Park. I just realized I had some sunflower seeds in my pocket. There's some seagulls there, but I didn't react. So I went on the grass and right away I stepped on a dog shit. So this, <laughs> I bought this sunflower seeds from Valladolid about two weeks ago, I think. They're still half in my pocket. So I'm waiting for a moment. Maybe there are squirrels coming about. You never know. They do have a discovery center here, which I want to find out what's this about. I saw a couple of pictures. Could be interesting. We shall see. Discovery Center is for free. I have a feeling I have a lot to discover. Discover the coffee. It shall be the next thing, a tea find out what's behind the corner lock kids today's Sunday oh my god wow what's this discovery gardens bee gallery it's lock kids around here this one is a very beautiful one a little garden It's very nice. Oh, it's plane going there. That is what I like. That's some greenhouses there. Wow, this one is actually an Italian garden. Very interesting. It 
two of my favorites. Well, you can find nice things in Luton if you do some research. There is actually another park, but this is already out of Luton, it's like 15 kilometers away. Should be some building over there where you can see some kind of uh, tractors or other kind of gardening things. Whoa, that has a big tree here. It's massive. Good stuff. Some machinery over here and over there. And there's a tractor, Fortson, the son of Fort. There's a courtyard over here. Very good, very British. And you can look around. I think you can look around inside. Yeah, from here, Discovery Galleries. Medieval stuff. That's nice. Let's check it out. Now it's all for free. Very nice. Stairs going down. Farming history. Here we have a bunch of rocks. This fella here, never seen that before. You can have a bone from here. I have a bone to pick. Oh, oh, it's so simple. Very good. Oh, British history grains. And then you have the rodents. You got small rabbit there. A little mink. We got a snake there. There's an owl over there. That's good. You got a big fella over here. How you doing, mate? We got Eugene crab. There's a little deer. That's very small. And the muddy old fox. And there you have a bunch of money. Ah, they will roll down. It's a very interesting game. That's nice. <laughs> I think people just put money here just to see how it goes. Now I'm going outside to the other room. Here is another room. There's a skull there. Tunnels. There's a bunch of rocks there. And a head. Is that nice here? Was that nice? Was that nice here? It's a nice room. Here's a little hut. That's beautiful. They're coming. And a little fireplace here. Wow. That's so cool. Oh, nice one, fancy. You got here, oh, little desk.
somehow is alright. Not too boring, actually. Something like new for me. No food or drink. I'll finish my coffee. That is a nice one over here. Got a proper real smell here of a workshop. Wow. There's the last room, the carriages. There's a proper colorful one. Right, off to a poop zone to have a pint of pizza. There is enough culture for one day. There is easy chat. Where is the sculpture garden? Ah, oh, there is some vehicles there. Ah, oh, it's getting better. Wow. Point of picture it is. Bee gallery. What is the bee gallery? Stung by a bee. Let's see. Alright, let's check out some cars. I am old, please don't touch. <laughs> oh man. Ooh, fancy dress. Interesting, the future car. Here's some little bit older ones. A couple of years from 1880. <laughs> nice one. It's inside here. Looks pretty comfortable. Wow, this is the royal one. Down coach, 1860. Check out this one. That has a proper wagon. Royal Mail. <laughs> wow, this is just keeps getting better. I can't believe this is free entrance. It's like a proper big hall here with uh, different vehicles wow where's that George Street in Luton in 1900 okay cool wow this is very interesting never seen that once before I think raw wow, beautiful I remember I looked a picture up yesterday about this place. Wow, this is huge. Coking cart.
Wow, that's interesting. This is a circus one, I think. Goes all the way at the back there. This is very nice. Great attraction. Oh, this is the proper car here. And uh, why so long face? Another car. This is Vauxhall. Now this Vauxhall also horse powered. It's a mighty one. Some trains over here. Oh, Royal Mail. That is a beauty. There's one car up there. Victor. Wow. Very basic. I like this one pretty much. Go up from here to there. Oh, here's a little boot. One beer, please. Lipton's tea. Love the old signs, especially the British ones. You can go up here, the light is going up. Stay here and sit down and have a beer. Very good. Ooh, I haven't been sitting down for a while, I have to say. Can't even remember last time I sat down. <laughs> Must be a few hours now, but I feel good. Yesterday I walked about 12.5 12, 12 kilometers actually. I thought it wasn't that much, but but yeah, it was quite a bit. That was enough. What these hills. Oh, cool. Wow, this is, wow, look at this one. The wheels are huge. You just don't walk on a plinth. First time I've heard that word. And this is full of these wagons here up there. And the ceiling loads. Hell steamer here. Burners. Well, that's the very old one here. Is that from 1890? Spider Peter. Wow. Let's check out the old Bernard. Beautiful. Very interesting. Oh, There's a nice one. Pickfoots removers <laughs> and very nice moving truck and that's the Royal Mail. I love that one. Dogs. Oh, that's a nice car over here. Wow. That's a beautiful painting. There's a little bicycle over there. A unicycle.
No, it's not a unicycle, it's the whatever you call it. Anyway, that's the more modern one. Oh, easy jet is here. Very nice. There's the people riding on holes there, that's why I so. saw. Yeah. The old cameras. That's a nice wagon over there. That's nice. Elefondata. Oh, there is a fancy one here. Spring and wheels. There is another room here. Is there a Victorian desk here? Bronze Age. Oh, the wooden one. That's beautiful. All oh, the gypsy cards over here. See the size of the wheels, that's crazy. A Romanian, I can hear the language. So you got a little stove here. There's a bed. Very interesting. Eighteen fifty. There's another one over here. Proper shiny one. A little stove here. Very nice. Seventy charge. Oh, seventy stop films. World events, BBC. All right, guys, this is it. This fantastic discovery center of 
the Stockwood Park. Now I'm heading back to the city center, which is about 30 minute walk, perhaps. And I'm gonna check in to my hotel because now it's past three o'clock. Town center, nearly one and a half miles. Stockwood Park, it's a big area, some squirrels over there. Let's get them some kind of food now. Come on, fella. You want some seats? I'll get them out now. Salty sunflower seeds. Come on, mate. What does it want? It wants the beer. Sorry, guys. I don't have a beer. Two and a half. Come on. Another dude's over here. Come on, mate. Got all the seats. What's this? Oh, mate. Some paper here about some thing in Malta. Oh, it's still in my pocket. Right, come on. So all the seats I dropped are here somewhere. I don't know if you can find. Come on, salted ones. I got one, I think. Very good. Very good. Get it on, dude. Yeah, get them down. Ooh, it's a good squirrel. Oh yeah, it tastes pretty good, is it? That's the Spanish ones, they are. From Valladolid. Should be very tasty. Yeah, you like them salty ones. But you're gonna get thirsty, so you need a beer later on, I think. Here's a big one. Come on, mate. Come on. Yeah, he's already got the big one. There is the this whole Express Hotel next to the mall. Checking in, that was very smooth. That's working, that's good. And there's my room for 41 pounds per night. Now I have my private bathroom, that's the main thing I moved here. And it's written, you have a free breakfast, which I can't have because I have a very early checkout. Free tea and coffee, that is very nice. I'm gonna have another coffee. All right, there you go, ha, <laughs> very nice. You have a proper TV, USB charges over there. There's a nice large single bed. Big desk here with four outlets, so that is perfect. Seems to be in a courtyard, so it's more quiet. Feels quiet. It's very new looking. Love it. I think the score was like 7.5 or something. It's thousands of reviews. And see, so you have a proper soap here. And I do have a bath, so I'm definitely going to take a bath tonight. That's perfect. I was a little bit, well, I don't know, disappointed or something that uh, I didn't come here uh, yesterday because it was also available, but I didn't want to wake up too early. Although I could have re requested the late checkout, but never mind. Anyway, this is good. Very nice. Yeah, but this place don't have a fridge, so the other one had a fridge. That's all good. Now I'm at the second Lidl. Yesterday I went the other one. And I'm surprised to see that they have so many different beers. So I got three from the other Lidl. Uh, one wasn't that good. The others were pretty nice. And here are already many different ones. That is 179. Love Lane. Now that's the Love Lane here. That's the love lane, the maple stout 179, 7.4%. And this one, mango pale ale, probably too sweet. And then you got another one, which are all 179. 
so I could buy a few of them to try later on. I'm not sure if these are very good. And buy some ice so I can keep them cold. Oh, that's interesting. I nearly skipped that one, so I didn't think. There's another one here. Freedom IPA. Okay, this I remember. 3.8% on it. That's not very, very strong. And there's another one. Yeasty Boys. I think I tried this in October. And we got Tough McKagan. This is just the average one. 129. So, wow, that's interesting. So I might really pick some up from here. It's my last evening. Don't think I'm even going to sleep because I have to go to the airport like 3 o'clock in the morning. So I'm no way I'm gonna go to bed like 10 and 11 o'clock. I don't give a shit. So, alright. Okay. Okay. We'll grab Hozu. What is this? 11%. Some Greek stuff. There's Greek beers over here. The Mitzus. Alright. Well, I didn't have internet to check the about the beers, about the scores from the uh, beer application. So I went outside, because the little internet didn't work, and after five minutes I couldn't get back in because it's Sunday and it's closing five o'clock, I think, or, or six now. Might be six. So I went to Tesco, which is just next door, and I was lucky to get in because after a few minutes they closed the doors already. So I picked up a couple of beers and sandwiches for the morning. <laughs> So that's pretty good. Now I'm heading to the Weather Spoons, which is very next to my hotel, pretty much. And then before I'm gonna drop off my bag and leave it in a hotel. Back in Weather Spoons. Now let's try some of the craft beers. This one, three twenty-nine pounds. Ordered some chicken wings also. I always do that in England. Very nice and spicy ones. Let's try them. Here. Wow, this is very nice. They bought me this glass here, was full of ice before, so I poured it in here. Sitting down the library in the second floor. Oh, this is very nice. Chicken wings were 644 pounds. Plenty of crops coming around now. Nice. Not many people here. Nice and chill. Oh, the chicken wings came. That no, is a good one. Maybe some spicy sauce here. Saucy sauce. The last one I got. Look at this one. Very good one. 321 pounds again. This is nearly 4 euros. Very beachy number. Yeah, mate. Oh, that was good. Heading back to my hotel now, which is just over there. And the pub. Well, the spoons over there. So that was very nice. I'm gonna chill now in a hotel. Probably gonna take a bath. That will be good. It will be all good. Right now, it's time to chill in the hotel. It's only about seven o'clock, so 3 a.m. I have to wake up. I have a couple of beers here. The King Coblin, the old classic. Witchwood Brewery is one of my favorites. Timothy Landlords. This I had before a few times. Cold deer is coming out, so these are very nice and cold. And one of the good ones, of, so the Hot Goblin IPA. Perfect stuff. So I'm gonna take a bath soon, and that's it. TV is working nicely, the internet is working nicely, so that's all good. Right, it's been a great one month trip, I have to say. Started from 20th of January. Then I went to Malta from there, from Estonia. And now it's about tomorrow, it'll be 20th of February. Seven Island Tour, very nice. So, if you watch this first time, then have a look at my other videos about these Canary Islands I went and the Portuguese Island. 
and also Malta. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed my journey. Tomorrow 6 a.m. flight to Riga, Latvia and then from there to the little town called Perno, which is in Estonia. I'm gonna stay there for a couple of weeks and then we'll be looking forward to some new adventures. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Bye.